My name is Rina. I live with my husband and my son Makoto. This is Maho. She's a close mom friend of mine and lives next door. Maho has a daughter named Ai, who goes to the same kindergarten as Makoto. We have been helping each other out since our children were young. Our other mom friends were all nice people too, and we all lived a happy life. However, there's this troublesome old man who lives in the neighborhood. Shut up! Don't make such a ruckus in the noon! Be quiet! Study at home or something! You're in my way! Don't stand in the streets and chat! <laughs> you think you woman own this place? What shameless woman! When you're all relying on your husband's money to live! He was an old man named Umada. He would come at the children playing in the park and at mom's waiting for the school bus and yell at them. <laughs> I'm sorry we're in your way, but... We're on the side of the streets, not in anyone's way. And we're only here for like 10 minutes until the bus comes. He's really annoying every morning, isn't he? Hey, I can hear you guys. <laughs> Umada was terrifying as he came running towards us on his electric wheelchair. This man, Umada, often bragged that he was a landowner who owned a big area of land around the neighborhood. He had turned some of that area into a parking lot, and many of our mom friends were renting a space. So if we ever tried to talk back to him... I won't lend you the parking lot anymore! Should I raise the price? He would threaten us. There are some moms who had reluctantly rented a different parking space farther away after actually having their rent raised by him. That old man's so annoying, isn't he? I heard this before. But apparently that man's son left the house and cut ties with him because of his attitude. I heard his wife went through so much hardship and passed away early. He's the definition of an old fart. Wake not a sleeping lion. We all try to avoid Umada. However, one day, the incident occurred. I'm sorry I asked for so much. I'm sure it was heavy. No worries. I was going to take the car out anyway. Here. Your sports drink, veggies, and jelly. Thank you for your help. While I was unable to leave the house because I had to take care of Makoto, who had developed a fever, Maho asked me if I needed anything on her way to the store. It was just as I was giving her some snacks in appreciation after receiving the items she got me. Here's the money and some snacks. I'm sorry it's nothing special. Don't worry about that. We should help each other when in need. Mrs. Rena, does Makoto still have a fever? It's gotten lower, but he still has a cough, so he might have to rest from kindergarten a little longer. I see. I know! I'll bring the kindergarten news tomorrow after I get it at school. Really? Why, thank you. That helps. Just when I was admiring how sweet little I was, I heard an angry yell from across the street. Shut up! How long are you going to stay there? That's my land, you know! Don't park the car there! Um, this is not your land, Mr. Umada. It's a public road. That's right. And we only stopped it for a short time just to put our luggage down. Shut up! If I say it's causing trouble, then it is! What's wrong with you, woman, making noise from broad daylight? Women like you who live luxurious lives with your husband's money are the type of people I hate the most! Hey, don't come here! As Umada accelerated towards us on his powered wheelchair, I couldn't help but raise my voice at him. It's dangerous if you jump out onto the streets like that. Although a wheelchair, if you continue driving dangerously like that, we'll call the police, you know? What do you mean, police? There's a student of mine at the top of the police department. I used to be a teacher, you know? I will never be caught no matter what I do. It's you women who will be caught for parking your car on my land! So we're telling you it's not yours. It's a public road. He's getting old. Maybe he's going senile. We were talking in a small voice, so there was no way he heard us, but Umada sped up on his wheelchair towards us as if he sensed something. He came running across the street in tremendous speed. You badmouthed me right now, didn't you? What did you say? Say it one more time. We didn't say anything. Anyway, this is a public road, and we'll move the car right now that we finished unloading it. Yeah, so please don't get that upset. And we're in front of a young child. Please, don't make such a scary face. Shut up! Shut up! 
Don't you peasants tell me what to do! Ah! Oh, I! Yeah! To our surprise, Umada suddenly drove his powered wheelchair at incredible speed and came running straight at us. Maho immediately went to protect Ai, but fell onto the floor with her. Ai! Are you okay? Ai, hang on tight! Ai! It hurts! Ai's leg and foot was run over by the powered wheelchair. Maho, hurry and go to the hospital! It, yeah, Ai, mommy will hold you, okay? Is it okay if I hold you here? Does it hurt? I'm okay. It's only the tip of my foot that hurts. The rest is fine. Hmm. That happens because you weren't telling me what to do. You don't want anything worse to happen. Say sorry and listen to what I say from now on. Got it? Of course not. We have a surveillance camera on, so we're going to send it to the police. Be prepared. <laughs> and you think that will scare me? I told you my student works at the top of the police department. There was one person who tried to get at me before. But it didn't become a case at all. If you want to go to the police, go on ahead. They'll just send you back home right away. <laughs> After that, Little Eye and Maho went to the hospital. The results of the inspections showed that Eye's bone was safe and that her leg was just bruised. I'm so glad it wasn't broken. She says it doesn't hurt that much anymore. She's watching TV and looks fine. I'm sorry we made you worry. No, no. It all happened because I asked you to go shopping for me. I'm really sorry. By the way, I burnt the recorded scene from my surveillance camera onto a DVD. Want to use it? Thank you. I will never forget that old geezer. I got the medical certificate too, so I'm going to the police first thing in the morning. The next day, Umada came to me with his bossy attitude as always. I told you, the police aren't here, are they? No matter how much you peasants try, the police won't take action for you. They know that I'm better than you because I own land. He came all the way to my place to brag and make his point. But this man Umada's face turned pale blue just three days later. Why? Why do I have to go to the police station? I'm the landlord, you know? Much of the land here is mine. I am great. Respect the elderly. Don't arrest me! Umada, who refused to go to the police station, punched the policeman and was ultimately forced to be taken away for his obstruction of performance of official duty. Thereafter, Umada's lawyer and his son came to Maho's house. I was coincidentally there at Maho's house having tea when they came and was able to see what happened. I deeply apologize for what my father did. In order to prevent anything like this happening again, we've decided to send my father to our relative's house far away. I know this is a selfish request, but... Would you please kindly withdraw the report of damage from the police? After talking to the son for a bit, we found out that he left the house after graduating high school, unable to cope with Umada's selfishness. He now lived peacefully with his family far away. He even had a child now, and was training to be a policeman in the future. Maho thought about it for a while, but I think she empathized with Umada's son and his grandson, who both didn't do anything wrong. Okay, but please promise to take Umada far away for us. We don't want to see him ever again. The compensation and medical fee is a must, too. But my biggest desire is to have him out of our sight. Thank you very much. Of course, I will definitely fulfill my promise. After that, Umada was brought over to Maho's house by his son to apologize. He was deeply shocked that he was arrested and looked completely worn out. I was wrong. I cannot hear you. I said I was wrong. I even paid you money. Forgive me already! What kind of way of apologizing is that? Bow your head down and apologize properly! <laughs> you taught me to do so, didn't you? You said I had to kneel on the floor and apologize after doing something wrong! After being dragged down from his wheelchair, Umada, who crawled pitifully on the floor, was showered with the painful sharp stares of the people who gathered. How sad. We wouldn't want to be an elderly like that. Hearing such comments from the crowd, Umada completely lost it, 
As a result of rampaging around, he was given a smack by his son as he shouted, Quit it already! and fell onto the ground unconscious. After that, Umada disappeared from town and peace was restored. Half a year later, we heard from Umada's son when he came to visit that Umada had apparently passed away at his relative's house. Apparently, their relative lived by the ocean and worked as a fisherman. Of course, my father couldn't go out to fish because of his legs. But our relative is a strong believer of, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. I agreed with that too. So my father worked every day clearing and fixing the fishing nets. So why did he pass away? I think he hated the fact that he had to work. He ran away from home at night. To the ocean. It was dark in the area and he wasn't familiar with the place yet. I think he took the wrong road. Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened. Honestly, I thought he just suffered the consequences. When I told Maho about that... Well, it's good that even an old geezer like him was able to do good and become nutrition for the fishes. She said something quite scary. Well, he did injure her precious daughter. I guess it's normal she would feel that way. Little Ai's injury got all better, and she is now playing happily with my son Makoto. Mommy, look! A beetle! Makoto caught it! Hmm, so we can find beetles here too, huh? Gah! Not that, you two. It's a roach. Let go of it. Why? It's a female beetle, right? No, it's not. While many things do happen, I'm glad life became peaceful after Umada disappeared. I hope that we can continue living happily like this forever.